When I'm busy, I tend to lean into my go-to meals that require minimal prep time, but still fuel my body with all of the good stuff. One is stir fries. For this, you only need a pan, but first I'm gonna make the stir fry sauce. A good stir fry is nothing without a bomb sauce. And this one uses peanut butter as base. By now, you probably know that I love my peanut butter. You can also make this with tahini if you can't have nuts. So I'm making the sauce pretty thin because it will thicken up really good in the pan later. I also love preparing my veggies before I start cooking to make the cooking process more smooth and more quick and also love using frozen veggies. I always have frozen veggies in my freezer because it's a quick way of just adding more veggies into uh, your meal. And what I love about stir fries is that it's an easy way to add more veggies into your diet but also you can just grab whatever veggies you have in the fridge and today I'm also adding some crumbled tofu. It is a perfect way to add more plant protein into your meals. Today I'm also happen to have leftover rice so just adding everything in there. You can also make this with noodles but yeah I really enjoy it with rice and it's a great way to add more fiber and yeah I made this meal under I would say 20 minutes and it still has lots and lots of flavors. I really love this one. You can find it in my app called a leftover rice stir fry. You can actually also find another recipe called gado stir fry which uses the same stir fry sauce but with noodles instead. I would highly recommend trying that stir fry sauce. <laughs> you can add it to other stir fries of course. Another meal I make when I'm busy is a tray bake. It's not quick per se but it takes care of itself in the oven and you can do other stuff. So usually my tray bakes consist of a base of potatoes because potatoes are very versatile and it uh, keeps fresh for long. And so you can use whatever veggies you have in the fridge. That's a theme here <laughs> that you can use whatever veggies you have. I really like adding some onion or garlic to the trays for flavor and today I'll also cherry tomatoes. I usually also add a plant-based protein so today I'm using chickpeas. This actually works with the white beans as well. Haven't tried with lentils but yeah. And don't forget the spices. You want lots and lots of spices to yeah have all of those wonderful flavors going on. Feel free to use whatever spices you like. Today I'm using curry powder as the main spice. It's also very delicious with cumin, paprika powder or why not red curry paste. I'm sure that would work. So now the hard part is done. It's not that hard. So I'm gonna make a dressing, um, herby mint dressing and I love dressings that doesn't require a blender. I've actually made a video on that so go and check that out for more inspiration. Today I'm making a yogurt dressing. So yeah just place that in the fridge and now you can do other stuff while you wait on the oven like playing with uh, Alina. Now the veggies are roasted and nice. First, I'm also gonna film for Instagram. I've actually already posted two tray bakes on Instagram, so go to my Instagram and check it out for more uh, inspiration. Adding the sauce on top of tray bake is a fun way to serve a tray bake. So you can just place the tray on the table and you can actually just eat from the tray. Anyways, this is also a very, very easy recipe, like five minutes to prep and then it takes care of itself in the oven. Still, you end up with a a very flavorful wholesome meal with lots of plants of course you can add in a grain if you want to next meal i'm always making when i'm busy is pasta today i'm making a sherry tomato pasta which is actually a one pot recipe so one pots are my go-to when i'm super busy and just like can't bother having too many pots going on so when you have a bunch of cherry tomatoes just laying around add them to a pot and let them saute on low to medium heat under a lid this is a tip my sister gave me she's really into uh, tomato pastas <laughs> i'm gonna make a creamy pasta sauce you can actually make this without the cashew uh, sauce but if you're like me love creaminess you are gonna love this as well to make a cashew sauce is a game changer if you're used to have cream based sauce because cashew nuts gives a really really creamy flavor a neutral flavor and it also adds lots of vitamins and minerals protein but also fiber. So you want to really cook the tomatoes down which takes about 10 minutes 
minutes and then mash them like I'm doing here and also I'm adding some tomato paste and harissa paste if you're loving spiciness. Harissa paste is a game changer if you like spiciness. Since this is a one pot I'm also adding the water into the pot together with whole wheat pasta for some more fiber and nutrients and some uh, broth. Usually pastas have like the reputation of being an unhealthy food. It's so not true because it has so many nutrients especially whole wheat pasta it has a lot of fiber vitamins minerals proteins and you can really make a healthy wholesome pasta like i'm doing here today by adding the cashew sauce it gets so creamy and delicious you can also by the way make a pasta sauce with silken tofu instead of cashew nut check out one of my videos to see how i make that this meal also only took me around 20 minutes to put together and just look at that creaminess oh my god i love this recipe so much and you can make a creamy cashew pasta with endless of combinations just use whatever spices you like and while the pasta is cooking you make the cashew sauce and that's it that's how quick a meal can be put together even if it's healthy for you i also added this recipe to my app it is called creamy harissa pasta when i'm busy meal planning is key not having to think every day about what to cook i use my own app five sec health for meal planning it is super easy to just add in what meals i want for the week change serving sizes and create a shopping list accordingly and you have over 500 plant-based recipes to choose from and new ones added every week so go ahead and check it out i'll see you in the next video